The problem with these two ways is that Premiere actually thinks that these black bars belong to the image. So it will handle it in the rendering process exactly as it does with the footage in between the black bars. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is Peter and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you three ways how to create a cinematic aspect ratio or in other words cinematic black bars. Two of these ways are actually wrong so make sure to keep watching till the end and I'm gonna show you why. So way one is pretty simple. You open up Google, type in cinematic black bars PNG plus the resolution you would like to export your file in. Take the first page you find, click on it and copy the image. After that import it, drop it on top of your footage, done. Now your footage looks already pretty cinematic. Way 2 is pretty simple as well. You create an adjustment layer, you drop the adjustment layer on top of your footage, go to the effects tab and type in crop effect. Apply the crop effect to the adjustment layer and type in the percentage you want to delete from the top and from the bottom of your image. The problem with these two ways is that Premiere actually thinks that these black bars belong to the image. So it will handle it in the rendering process exactly as it does with the footage in between the black bars. In other words, the program will put rendering calculation in parts of the image, the black bar where no calculation is necessary because the black bars don't need to have any information in it they are just black oh steve hat mir was geschickt die sind ja süß das like ich now if you look closer you can see these compressed details in the exported footage. They will look a little bit like data chunks. That means the ultimate solution for getting a cinematic aspect ratio without losing any details in the footage is to open up the sequence settings Go to the resolution tab and calculate the right resolution straight away for getting the proper ratio in your sequence up front. This will make any overlays or crop effects unnecessary. You are seeing this video in a 16x9 aspect ratio, which is most common for TV shows and like television and stuff. To get the cinematic aspect ratio, which is 21x9, there is just some simple math necessary. A 16x9 aspect ratio is for example in pixels in a full HD resolution 1920x1080 or in 4K is 3840 to 2160 but we are going to continue this example with a full HD resolution so 1920 is a value of the horizontal line and 1080 is a value of the vertical line what you do now is you divide the horizontal value which is 1920 by 2.39 that equals 803 and something now you put this value in the vertical field and you press OK. Now you can see that the frame of the program monitor is actually cropped on top and at the bottom to provide you a real cinematic aspect ratio without losing any details in the black bars. Now the program can put more rendering power in the actual visible image. The image quality will look a little bit better than if you do it like I explained in the first two ways. If you upload the video on YouTube now, you will not see any black bars but the image will still look pretty white and not that high. But why does aspect ratio actually matter? In Hollywood, the directors choose the aspect ratio in terms of the story they want to tell or rather in the kind of angles they need to tell the story. For example, in a lot of Western films, the directors are choosing a lot of like wide aspect ratios because they know that they're gonna get a lot of wide angle shots because the landscape structure in the desert is rather wide and high. That means you need more space from left to right than from top to bottom. In other films, they are choosing an aspect ratio like 60 by 9 to make the the frame actually a little bit higher. For example, in the film Jurassic Park, Steven Spielberg said that it's better to use a higher aspect ratio to show the dinosaurs in their full size, especially in shots where the humans are right next to the dinosaurs. Otherwise, you couldn't get them on one frame. Or not, you couldn't get them, but it would be harder to compose. If you want to have the download link for the PNG file with the black bars, you can find it down below in the description. For any further questions, please let me know or drop a comment down below. Oh,